Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. Geo here, and today we're going to be talking about the Viz Manga series, Comey Can't Communicate, Volume 1. Unfortunately, I do not have the physical release with me, but I do own the digital version here on my tablet. As you can see, Comey Can't Communicate, Volume 1. The art in it is pretty freaking awesome i love how clean and and gorgeous the drawings are let me show you randomly some uh of the art right there just it looks fantastic and if you don't know what the story is about we follow the character of uh shoko komi who suffers from extreme social anxiety and communication problems and you know it makes her largely unable to talk to others in her class this is a high school uh, rom-com and it's not really played in a negative way the character is trying to acquire at least a hundred friends and it isn't until the character of Hitohito Tadano that you know he falls for her and finds out that she's having this issue she um they become friends he becomes her first friend and he is going to set out on this journey to help her get 99 more friends and you know make her a little bit more sociable when the story begins you start reading into the character and everybody in the school thinks that Comey is this bright beautiful regal character and she is but it there's this sort of like this false image where everybody thinks uh, like she won't talk to somebody because it's not worth her time, stuff like that. Like she's an elite uh, high schooler, but the truth of the matter is she's either extremely nervous or frightened and will not talk to that person. And she'll just simply freeze up. And I think that is at the beginning uh, when you first learn of it, it's played for laughs, but at the same time there's a seriousness and a realness to the story because I do think it's a universal message that people, you know, they will, uh, we will freeze up on occasions. Not everybody's comfortable talking to everybody. Everybody's going through stuff. So I think having a story like this makes it a little bit more um, relatable to people and you can laugh and have a good time but at the same time get inspired by a wholesome character trying to do her best and i think that's the key to a story like this where other manga maybe could play it uh, on a different angle but this is more sincere in the way it presents its characters and the way komi is trying to communicate you know uh, a particular scene that i really loved and i'm gonna find it as i'm talking with you guys here on my uh, tablet is that when the two characters are two main characters they finally sort of understand uh what's happening with each other uh they have this really great conversation on the chalkboard in their uh homeroom classroom that i thought was really um was really heartwarming and fascinating that they can have this sweet chat here you can see it a little bit better have this sweet chat this sweet tender moment between the two characters i thought that was really cool and really speaks to the heart of the series that we can have something endearing like that along the way Comey's going to meet other characters some are uh, more interesting than others and for the most part the series plays it like uh, each chapter is a mini story there is an overarching theme throughout the book but each story is like separate gags or episodic adventures within this world that we're reading about and i thought that was pretty cool because you can just pick up the first book enjoy it read it for what it is have a fun time you don't necessarily need to set out to read the second volume but if you do you are going to be rewarded with more great stories and characters and comey honestly trying to do her best part of me uh wants a story like this to continue on forever i do believe uh, there's been like 15 volumes in japan uh, so we're now getting the u.s releases i think we've gotten four manga volumes and hopefully there's a lot more we can get it in oversized format and stuff like that because i think it's a fun addition to your library a fun addition to your manga reading about uh just characters trying to live out their best lives and trying to uh, make friends and overcome fears and doubts and all that stuff. So I do 
wholeheartedly recommend Komi Can't Communicate. I think it is a fine manga and a wonderful story that everybody should check out. If you want something lighthearted, a little bit more comedic and, and happier, then yeah, definitely give um, Komi a shot. And I just went all dark. This is a typical reaction for the character. Let me uh, zoom in on Komi right there. As you can see, you know, she's nervous and her heart's thumping, so she feels it. There's that chalkboard that I was talking about, and the art is really smooth and clean and, and gorgeous to look at. Look at this. See, they're both having that intense conversation, but it's it's kind of fourth wall meta-breaking, if you will, because uh, you're reading about people reading or writing, so I thought that was pretty cool and, and definitely a highlight of one of my favorite scenes in manga. Here's the part. What's your dream, Komi? To make 100 friends. And that, that, you know, if you've ever had bad luck with people and friends and school and stuff like that, you feel it. You understand her anxiety and her pain and what she is going through, even if it's played for laughs sometimes with her reactions to, like, um, socializing with people, playing musical games, or going to a store to buy a drink, stuff like that. So I think... Um, having the character of um, Tadano sort of be that anchor, that first anchor that's going to help break the ice is fantastic. There's also another character called uh, Najimi Osana. He is, or she is, gender fluid. And I thought that was really cool that they didn't really make a fuss over it. Here's this, here's this character. He feels the way that he feels, or she feels the way that she feels. and does her own thing and it should be like that it should be fun that um we shouldn't have to discriminate against people for what they believe and how they want to live their lives najimi is a great addition to the cast and the world of comey can't uh, communicate so that in a nutshell is sort of my first impressions on comey i do want to pick up the physical volumes eventually and i do recommend it i think it's a fun read for you guys to check out have you read it let me know in the comment section down below the art is super clean crisp and beautiful to look at fantastic wholesome characters trying to you know live out their best lives in high school and a wonderful heartwarming story that i think you're gonna enjoy check it out if you can Follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell icon so you know when new videos come up on this channel. I've got to go. I will catch all of you on our next video.